Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. In today's video we're going to be making these really cute little tutus. Now you've seen tons of tutorials all over YouTube for tutus and they're usually the really full really big tutus and I think they are so sweet. They're so cute. But this is a little bit different. Um, recently for the holidays I bought Evie a pair of Christmas jammies and they came with this little tutu that the pajamas were from Target. And it's become a problem because now she only wants to wear those pajamas because of the tutu. So we kind of, my daughter gave me the measurements off of the tutu that came with those PJs and we kind of uh, dissected it and I recreated it. So this is way less full than the ones that you see um, to buy with the matching embroidered shirts, which by the way, I think are adorable but they're really not something that Evie can sleep in or like wear out over leggings. They're way fuller for that. They're more like a birthday party or something. So this is a little, or actually a lot less full. It's only one, it's two layers of tulle, but only you only see one. Some of the bigger ones, they have double layers of ribbon, etc. So this is just a really simple, I made her one in white so she can wear this with just about any of her leggings and her PJ sets. And then I made this one. This is the one we're gonna make in the video. I think this one turned out really cute. This one's slightly a bit fuller. This one I made with three yards of fabric. This one I made with four. So you can see this one isn't quite as full. This is probably more similar to the Target fullness, the one from Target. This one's a slight bit fuller. And the tool itself I think is a little bit thicker so it looks a little bit fuller. But these are so easy to make and I think any little girl's gonna love them. So come on, let's get started. This is a super beginner sewing friendly tutorial. And if you've got any little girls in your life or anybody that loves to wear the little tutus, you can get them set up in a jiffy. So let's get started. I've included recommended measurements in the video description for various sizes. So this project's pretty easy and it really only takes a few materials. So you need your tool. I picked this up at Joann's. It's kind of a rainbow tool. You can also get it like this. I also made the white one just out of the plain white. They have all different colors and I bought four yards. Now, if you're going to make the really full ones, you're going to want more than that. You're gonna to wanna to follow a different tutorial. But for this type that she's just gonna put on over her jammy leggings or just over leggings to wear for fun. This is a real wearable um, that she can sleep in if she wants. So I've got four yards of this tool. This is folded in half. It's 36 inches. So I'm just going to leave it folded in half. I've got, you want at least four yards of ribbon. You can use twice that if you want to put ribbon on both layers. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put both layers together. You're going to need your elastic. This is just leftover mask elastic that I had. It's very thin, but this is very similar to what was in the one from Target that I'm copying. You're going to need your rotary cutter, and then I've got a cutting mat under here just to help me with measuring. So I've got my tool all folded across the table, and you wanna to try to get some place where you can get a nice flat, um, lay it out nice and flat, fold it in half. And what I'm gonna do is try to gather it up so that I can cut it. So I am going to, I'm really focusing on this end being straight, which should make the other end. This is a little bit off, but I'm not worried about that. We're gonna be cutting that off anyway. So again, the four yards of tool, and I'm just gonna start winding it up, folding it up for this one. Now Evie wears a She's pretty slim and she wears a, uh, between a, a five maybe, a size five in kids. Um, she could get away with a 5T maybe, just kind of depends. But with this elastic waist, I would say she's a size five. So her waist measured 18 inches. And then we measured the skirt from Target which measured nine inches long. All right, so we're just gonna keep folding this up. And again, I'm just keeping this nice and straight. All right, now that I've got this all folded up, I'm gonna put this folded edge on my mat at the zero line. 
I'm going to measure down nine inches. So at nine inches, I can cut it off right here. That's going to leave me uh, quite a bit more that I can make another skirt out of. So don't throw that away. So I'm gonna go at nine inches, I'm gonna cut this off. So this is all I need for my skirt. Now this is, because this end was folded, this is double layered at nine inches. So if I wanna use this for another skirt, I would cut this at 18 inches and then fold it in half. That makes sense? So that's for my scrap, I'll have to fold it in half. But for this one, I'm using the side that was already folded. So we'll get this out of the way. So now what I wanna do is take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch along this folded edge at about a half of an inch. This is my elastic, it is a quarter inch. You can use whatever elastic you want. If you have a thicker elastic, that's fine. Just make sure that the channel that you're making will fit the elastic. So I'm just gonna sew with a about a half inch seam allowance. I'm gonna sew right along this fold, the entire four yard length of this fabric. So I've got my tool, I'm here at the sewing machine. I am going to sew with a, about a half inch seam allowance because my elastic is at quarter inch. I'm gonna put it on a fairly small stitch length. I'm gonna put it on a two, 2.5, somewhere in there. So you can see I've created a channel right here. That's where my elastic will feed through. Now we're gonna to go to this end and we're gonna add our ribbon. All right, so if your ribbon has a pattern or anything on it, you wanna put that face down. You're gonna put it under your presser foot so that you're stitching on this inside edge. So we're gonna stitch on this edge, on this side. So I'm gonna stick that under my presser foot just to hold it. And then we're gonna take our skirt and we're gonna line our tool up because we already stitched this together. This isn't going to get out of alignment. So we're gonna line that up and we're just gonna make sure that this skirt comes in about the middle of the ribbon and we're going to stitch it just like so. Let me see if I can get a close up for you. So we're stitching on this side of the ribbon. We're gonna keep the tool so that it's about halfway down the ribbon and we're going to stitch that the whole length of the skirt. So again, the, ri the ribbons, we're stitching on this side of the ribbon we're going to put the tool so that it's about halfway through the ribbon, both layers, and we're going to stitch that down, just like that, all the way down. So you can see I stitched that ribbon down the entire length of the fabric. Hopefully you can see that up close. So the tool just overlaps the ribbon by a little bit. And then I just stitched right along that inner edge. So this is the right side. So all you see is the nice clean stitch on the top of the ribbon, which you're not even really going to see once you gather this up. So now we're gonna take our elastic and I have an 18 inch piece of elastic. I'm gonna put it in my bodkin. You can use a safety pin, whatever you use to thread your things. And I am going to thread it through this channel. Now you want to make sure you don't let go of this end. You can put a clip on it or something to keep you from pulling that through. And I think I will. Got this big clip. I'm just going to put that on this end so I don't have to worry about it. And I'm just going to feed that through this channel all the way down. Okay, so I have my elastic threaded all the way through the skirt. Now what I'm gonna do is take this over to the sewing machine. You wanna make sure you don't lose your ends. I'm gonna overlap these and I am going to run a zigzag stitch or even a straight stitch, it really doesn't matter. Just go back and forth, make sure this is very, very secure. 
If you're using a wider elastic, you can do the uh, like a box around it. Whatever works for you, I just run a stitch back and forth and back and forth and do it in a couple different areas right there at the overlap. All right, so you can see right here where I went back and forth in three different places just to secure that elastic. So now we're just gonna close this up. We're gonna arrange our skirt so that it's nice and even around. And then we're gonna find where those two ends meet where to go? Right here. And I'm going to go on the inside, the side where we did the stitching, and I am just going to stitch this together, right sides together, from top to bottom. And when I'm just going to stop just shy of the elastic. So just the, right here, I'm going to make sure the ribbon lines up. And then I'm just going to stitch this opening closed. So here's what that looks like. I just stitched that closed. Got a little string here. So then when we turn it right side out, we can redistribute our elastic. And look how cute that is. Don't turn your ribbon down. So cute, so easy. Here is the sparkly white one I made. This one I made with three yards and it's not quite as full as this one. I think I prefer the four yards, but either way it works fine. Use what you have. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was not on my radar at all. It was just something I Evie wanted, so I thought we'd go ahead and do a tutorial out of it. I hope you guys have fun with it. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.